ऑल इंडिया रेडियो प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम सरबजीत कौर द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टू इंटरैक्ट विद प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रीय बाल पुरस्कार अवार्डी चिल्ड्रन इन न्यू डेली टुडे प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इजिप्ट अब्दुल फतेह अल सीसी टू अराइव इन न्यू डेली टुडे ऑन अ थ्री डे विजिट टू इंडिया IMD predicts widespread rainfall in northwest India during the next 3 days. Russia and Estonia expel each other's ambassadors in a tit for tat move. South Korea beat Argentina 3-2 in penalty shootout at FIH Hockey Men's World Cup in Bhuvaneswar. And in cricket, third and final ODI between India and New Zealand to be played this afternoon in Indore. प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विल इंटरैक्ट विद दिस इयर्स प्रधानमंत्री राष्ट्रीय बाल पुरस्कार अवार्डी चिल्ड्रन इन न्यू दिल्ली टुडे प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू कन्फर्ड द अवार्ड्स ऑन देम एट विज्ञान भवन येस्टडे द अवार्ड्स हैव बीन कन्फर्ड ऑन इलेवन चिल्ड्रन फॉर देयर एक्सेप्शनल अचीवमेंट इन सिक्स कैटेगरीज विच इंक्लूड आर्ट कल्चर ब्रेवरी इनोवेशन सोशल सर्विस एंड स्पोर्ट्स ईच अवार्डी हैज रिसीव अ मेडल अ कैश प्राइज ऑफ वन लैख रुपीज एंड अ सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम द प्रेजिडेंट Speaking at the event, President Murmu said, "These awards are a recognition of their contribution and dedication to the country." The president said that it is amazed to see the remarkable work done by these children at this tender age. She added, "These children are a source of inspiration to many others also." बच्चे हमारे देश की उम्मीद लोनी थी है बच्चों के भविष्य निर्माण के लिए किया गया हर प्रयास समाज और देश का भविष्य संवारता है हम सभी को बच्चों की सुरक्षित और खुशहाल बचपन तथा तो स्वर्णिम भविष्य के लिए हर संभव प्रयास करना चाहिए बच्चों को पुरस्कृत करके हम राष्ट्र निर्माण में उनके योगदान को प्रोत्साहित और सम्मानित कर रहे हैं यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट स्मृति ईरानी एमओएस वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट डॉक्टर मुंजपारा महेंद्र भाई वर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट एट द अवार्ड सेरेमनी President of Egypt Abdel Fattah Al-Sisi will arrive in New Delhi today on a 3-day visit to India. He will be the chief guest on India's 74th Republic Day. President Sisi will be accompanied by a high-level delegation including five ministers and senior officials. This is for the first time that President of Egypt has been invited as chief guest on Republic Day. A military contingent from the Egyptian army will also participate in the Republic Day parade. The Egyptian president previously visited India in October 2015 to participate in the third India-Africa Forum Summit and in September 2016 on a state visit. India and Egypt are celebrating 75 years of establishment of diplomatic relations this year. Egypt has also been invited as a guest country during India's presidency of G20 in 2022-23. President Sisi will be accorded a ceremonial welcome at the Rashtrapati Bhavan tomorrow. President Draupadi Murmu will host a state banquet in honor of the visiting dignitary in the evening. The visiting dignitary will have a bilateral meeting and delegation level talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi on bilateral, regional and global issues of mutual interest. External Affairs Minister Dr S J Shankar will call on President Sisi. Our correspondent reports that the visiting dignitary will also interact with Indian business community at a business event during his visit. India and Egypt enjoy warm and friendly relations marked by civilizational, cultural and economic linkages and deep-rooted people-to-people ties. The two countries work closely at multilateral and international platforms. Bilateral trade between India and Egypt achieved a record high of 7.26 billion dollars in 2021-22. The trade was fairly balanced with 3.74 billion Indian exports to Egypt and 3.52 billion imports from Egypt to India. More than 50 Indian companies have invested around 3.15 billion dollars in diverse sectors of Egyptian economy including chemicals energy textile garment agribusiness and retail suparna sekya air news delhi health and family welfare minister dr mansuk mandviya has said that more than 47000 nikshay mitra and 8.8 lakh tb patients have been connected through nikshay 2.0 portal 
The portal facilitates and provides additional patient support to improve the treatment outcome of TB patients. Dr. Mandvia said the government is making all-out efforts to make the country TB-free by 2025 with people's participation. President Draupadi Murmu launched the Nikshay Mitra initiative in September last year. In Gujarat, the first B20 meet being organized as part of the G20 will conclude today. More than 500 delegates deliberated upon various global issues, including climate change, sustainability, digital transformation, and financial inclusion, during several plenary sessions held yesterday at Gandhi Nagar. Our correspondent reports that on the last day, G20 representatives will visit Gift City and other tourist places. A report. A special guided yoga session has been planned for G20 delegates at Puneet One in Gandhi Nagar today. The delegates will also be taken on eco tour where they'll be informed about traditional Indian Ayurveda medicines. They'll also be taken to India's modern financial tech city, Gift City, to provide an overview of various facilities at Gift City. Later, the delegates will explore Adalaj Nivau, the famous step well near Ahmedabad. Aparna Khun, AR News, Ahmedabad. Uttarakhand Tourism and Culture Minister Satpal Maharaj has said that all tourist places in the state are safe except Joshimat. Talking to the media in Dehradun, he said the government is making all possible efforts to deal with the situation in Joshimat. He said the upcoming Char Dham Yatra will be smooth. ओली जो है पूरी तरह से सुरक्षित है और ओली में हम विंटर गेम्स करने जा रहे हैं आप देखेंगे कि विंटर गेम्स से लोग वहां जाएंगे अभी भी जो बर्फबारी पड़ी है काफी लोग वहां पहुंचे हैं मैं स्वयं भी बाजार में घूमा हूं सब जगह घूमा हूं ऐसी कोई स्थिति नहीं है चार धाम यात्रा यह विधिवत रहेगी और निश्चित रूप में जोशीमठ को बचाने के हर संभव प्रयास किए जाए इन बिहार एसएचओ एंड चौकीदार ऑफ लखरी नबीगंज पुलिस स्टेशन इन सिवान डिस्ट्रिक्ट have been suspended in connection with the huge tragedy in the district additional director general of police js gangwar told air that 16 people have been arrested so far eight people died and six lost their eyesight after consuming spurious liquor in the sivan district on sunday night meanwhile opposition leader in assembly vijay kumar sinha alleged that the huge tragedy is happening in the state repeatedly as the government is not taking stringent action against the culprits union minister for petroleum and natural gas hardeep singh puri said that prime minister narendra modi has always been prioritizing northeast energy sector for putting the region in the high growth trajectory He is on a two-day visit to Assam in the run-up to the India Energy Week. Talking to media persons in Guwahati, the union minister said that several big projects in the energy sector are in the pipeline in this region. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. <laughs> The Indian Med Department has predicted widespread rainfall in northwest India during the next 3 days. It said there is possibility of enhanced rainfall and snowfall activity over western Himalaya region and rainfall activity over plains of northwest India mainly during 25th and 26th January. During two western disturbance, isolated heavy rainfall or snowfall is likely over Jammu, Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Muzaffarabad, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand today and tomorrow. Very light rainfall has been predicted for Delhi from today till 26th of January. Isolated hailstorm is likely over Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Chandigarh over the next couple of days. Russia and Estonia yesterday expelled and their ambassadors from each other's countries in a tit for tat move saying that their diplomatic missions will be headed by charged affairs the russian foreign ministry summoned estonian ambassador margus ledre and ordered him to leave the country by 7th of february the ministry in the statement said that estonia's diplomatic representation from now on will be downgraded to a charged affairs that heads the european union country's mission in moscow Russia said that the move was made in retaliation to Estonia's new unfriendly step to radically reduce the size of the Russian embassy in Tallinn. In response, Estonian Foreign Minister Ormus Rensulu said the Russian ambassador will leave on 7th of next month as well in accordance with the principle of parity. In a massive upset in the FIH Hockey Men's World Cup in Odisha, 
साउथ कोरिया डिफीटेड अर्जेंटीना थ्री टू इन पेनल्टी शूट आउट आफ्टर अ फाइव फाइव ड्रॉ इन रेगुलेशन टाइम एट कलंगा स्टेडियम इन भुवनेश्वर येस्टरडे इवनिंग विद द विन साउथ कोरिया इन्श्योर दैट देर विल बी एटलीस्ट वन एशियन टीम इन द क्वार्टर फाइनल ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट दे विल टेक ऑन द नेदरलैंड इन द फाइनल एट फिक्सर टूडे इन द फर्स्ट क्रॉस ओवर मैच ऑफ द डे जर्मनी एंटर द क्वार्टर फाइनल डिफीटिंग फ्रांस फाइव वन In cricket the third and final ODI between India and New Zealand will be played at Indore today the match will be played in Holkar Cricket Stadium from 1:30 pm India will look to clean sweep the series having already won two ODIs In Australia Open tennis Indian pair of Sania Mirza and Rohan Bopanna advanced to the mixed doubles quarter finals in Melbourne yesterday the Indian pair defeated the Uruguayan and Japanese pair of Ariel Bahir and Makato Ninomiya 6476 Mirza and Bopanna will now lock horns with Latvian and Spanish duo of Yerena Ostapenko and David Vega Hernandez in their last eight fixture today Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry has formed an oversight committee to inquire into the allegations of sexual misconduct, harassment and financial irregularities in the Wrestling Federation of India leveled by prominent sports persons. It will be headed by Kale Ratnawadi and Chairperson Athletes Commission MC Maricom. The other members include Kale Ratnawadi, Yogesh Vartat and Dhyan Chand Awadi, Trupti Murgunde. The oversight committee will complete the inquiry within 4 weeks. The committee will also undertake the day-to-day -day administration of the Wrestling Federation of India during the course of the inquiry. Representatives of the G20 countries will get a chance to witness the art and handicraft of Varanasi in the events which will be organized in Uttar Pradesh in the coming days. Artisans related to the wooden toy industry of Varanasi have been given the task to prepare souvenir which will be gifted to the delegates who will arrive to attend the events related to G20 in the state. More details from our correspondent. Artisans of the wooden toy industry of Varanasi are busy nowadays in preparing souvenirs which will be given to the delegates who will arrive in state to take part in the events talking to AIR Shubhi Agrawal a skilled artisan said that they are showcasing the heritage of Varanasi and Uttar Pradesh on these wooden souvenirs Banaras ke wooden lacquer mein hand painted mirror frame ko choose kiya gaya hai unhe gift karne ke liye hum log ko Lucknow se 2500 piece ka order mila hai hum log isko panch rangon mein bana rahe hain और इस पे बनारस की जितनी भी कलाकृतियां हैं और यहाँ के जितने भी जानवर हैं उन सब के चित्र हैंड पेंटिंग हो रहे हैं A total of 11 meetings related to the G20 conference will be organized in Uttar Pradesh while events will be held in four cities of the state including Varanasi, Lucknow, Agra and Greater Noida. The events are designed to boost economic development of the state and make India's role more important under G20. With Manish Singh in Varanasi, Sushil Chandra Tiwari, AIR News, Lucknow. And now for a look at today's newspapers, it's over to Vaibhav Jyotsna Shrivastava. Thank you, Sarabjit. 21 islands named after India's bravest heroes is the headline in the Hindustan Times. The statesman on its front page carries colorful pictures showcasing glimpses of full dress rehearsal of the Republic Day Parade. And finally, in a rare discovery of hatching site of uh, titanosaurs, a huge find of dino hatchery in MP, paleontologists have found 92 nests, 256 eggs of titanosaurs in Dhar district, informs the pioneer. And with that, it's back to you, Sarabjit. Thank you, Vaibhav. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to interact with Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Puraskar Awardee Children in New Delhi today. President of Egypt Abdul Fattah Al Sisi to arrive in New Delhi today on a three-day visit to India. IMD predicts widespread rainfall in northwest India during the next three days. Russia and Estonia expel each other's ambassadors in a tit-for-tat move. South Korea beat Argentina 3-2 in penalty shootout at FIH Hockey Men's World Cup in Bhuvaneswar. And in cricket, third and final ODI between India and New Zealand to be played this afternoon in Indore. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.